So let's talk about fetal monitoring. Fetal monitoring is basically going to be keeping an eye on how your uterus is responding and how the baby is responding to labor. And the first thing that we'll use initially is what's called external fetal monitors. And it's these disc-like contraptions, and these get strapped to your tummy. And there'll be two of them. One of them will tell us when your uterus is contracting, and the other will be monitoring the baby's heartbeat. The one that's measuring your contractions, it doesn't measure how hard the contractions are, even though it sort of looks like it on the screen, but it really doesn't correlate to how hard the contractions are. All it tells us is when the contractions are happening. It just tells us how frequently your contractions are and how long they're lasting. The other one is basically a little ultrasound that listens to the baby's heart rate, and that gives us information about the fetal heart pattern. It tells us what the rate is, it tells us how it's moving up and down, and it can give us a lot of information about fetal well-being, how, how your baby's responding to the stress of labor, and making sure that everything's okay. Now sometimes these external monitors don't give us enough information, and then we need to use what's called internal monitors. And internal monitors are really two different things. There's a fetal scalp electrode and an IUPC. So let's deal with one of these at a time. So this is a fetal scalp electrode. This is what it looks like. This is the actual fetal scalp electrode. This is the thing that helps us deliver it. And this is basically, it's a little wire that goes on the baby's scalp, uh, right here on the baby's head, and it's like an EKG lead. It basically measures the electrical impulse from the heart and feeds it into a computer where we can watch very precisely what's going on. And this gives us a great deal of information about the baby and how well the baby's doing and how it's and how it's handling the stress of labor. And so the way this is used is the doctor or nurse will put their fingers in your vagina and they'll put their so to the point where their fingers are up against the baby's head. At that point then the fetal scalp electrode will go up against the baby's head um, and the scalp electrode will be placed. And so if this is the baby's head, the scalp electrode will go down on the baby's head, it'll be pushed down. It'll be twisted, just like that. Oop. It's supposed to stick to the baby's head. My hand's not a baby's head. But then it'll stick to the baby's head. This will be removed, and I'll leave a little wire like that. Um, and this is what will be coming out of your vagina. Um, and then this hooks up, this end hooks up to the machine, which tells us a lot about the baby. Now the other thing is this IUPC, which is, stands for intrauterine pressure catheter. And basically, this is basically just a piece of IV tubing, and on the end of the IV tubing is um, a pressure transducer, and this measures the actual pressure inside the uterus, tells us how hard the uterus is squeezing. The advantage of this type of monitor versus the external monitor is not only does it tell us that the, when your contractions are happening, but it does tell us how hard the contractions are. Um, and so the way this is done is very similarly. The, Fingers are placed up against the baby's head. This is then put uh, between the fingers, and it's, it's sort of fed around the baby's head. So if this is the baby's head, it'll be placed around the baby's head like that. Then this will be fed through, and this hard plastic part then removed, and this is what will be inside of you. Now the other thing about this is that it has a little cap, and we can, um, sorry, on this side, hook this up to an IV, and we can drip fluid back into your uterus. So sometimes, as your amniotic fluid comes out, we want to replace some of that fluid, and this allows us to do that. So this is the IUPC, this is the fetal scalp electrode, and this is what the external monitors look like. The other thing to see is this is what's called a pulse oximeter. This can go on your finger, and it'll measure what's happening with your heartbeat, it'll measure your pulse. And sometimes we use this if we're not positive whether we're hearing your pulse or hearing the baby's pulse. And this way we can distinguish between the two. So those are some of the gizmos that we'll be using on you um, during labor and delivery and sort of what they're for.